Hey everyone, welcome back and happy Tuesday. All right, guys. Well, today's the 29th, which means almost happy Halloween. Last night, I don't know if you guys know, there's this show. It's a Tyler Perry show. Jason got me so hooked on it. I'm so fucking tired. Um, it's called First Wives Club. And I stayed up watching it until almost 3 o'clock in the morning, like 2.30 or something. And then I woke up at like 5.55 to go to the gym. So then today I was like, we're recording like, nah! you know, <laughs> okay, guys, we are back to talk about, well, technically, Tom Sandoval, and I'm sorry, I really am, but you guys are going to see what, it's Billy Lee, let's just get into it, smash the like button, show some love. All right, guys, so <laughs> imagine, look at this, not Tom Sandoval and some Billy Lee. Thank you to Reality Blurb. Tom Sandoval opened up about his falling out with Billy Lee during Wednesday's episode of his podcast. Now, this was months after Billy Lee became Thirsty Billy. Billy, first of all, thirsty as hell. Um... Billy is thirsty. Billy came off aggressive. Billy came off a lot of things. And Billy and the kid and the podcast and the the it's my mom said if I don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything. So I'm not saying anything. And I'm tired as hell, and I could totally go in and say something, but I'm not. Now, anyways. Months after Billy blasted Tom Sandoval and his girlfriend, Victoria Lee Robinson, in a series of podcast episodes and live Instagram appearances, accusing them of drug use and claiming Victoria disrespected Ariana Maddox's belongings in her and Sandoval's shared home, the couple is now fighting back. We were close and good friends, and it's very sad. That's what Sandoval said of the end of his friendship with Billy on the October 23rd episode of Everybody Loves Tom. You feel like you trust somebody and you feel like you have a friend who's open and honest and real with you and you find out this whole other side and it makes you sort of pull into your shell. Yeah. Well, of course, also, too, I don't know if you guys remember, but Billy waited, waited for Tom Sandoval to leave, go out of town. And that's when Billy decided to start firing off the shots. I think Billy just had a crush on Tom Sandoval, honestly. Like, whether people want to believe it or not, i that's what I think. But reflecting on Billy's tangent against him and Victoria, Sandoval said her claims were so frustrating because they painted Victoria in a negative light. It's so fucked up for her to create this character. I haven't even been able to speak, and she's already created a narrative of who I am, is what Vic Victoria agreed with. And it's like, nobody knows you, but I'm going to paint the narrative of who you are. And that's the first thing that everyone hears. But... I'm not going to let some person that's hurting on the inside or whatever's going on with her paint the narrative of my life and who I am because that's not who I am. But although Billy suggested that Victoria was a drug user, Victoria said that she's simply a woman who drinks socially. Having drinks at events and, of course, Sandoval's bar shorts and sandies. And yeah, even Sandoval said that he's been doing much less socially than he has in the past i'm like 20 plus years this is the last or the least that i've drank in 20 plus years the least that i've gone out i'm much more responsible and i think it took taking that eight months off of drinking i needed a reset i never planned on never drinking again i was just taking a break but Looking back on the moments that followed the reveal of his affair with Rachel, Raquel, Levis, Sandoval recalled Billy initially being Team Ariana before contacting him and helping him around their home. He then said that she lied about having to give up friends and having lost friends due to their closeness. She didn't lose any friends. People in general were always a little scared of Billy because she would use the trans card, is what he explained. Wow giving a nod to her past claims about Jax Taylor and Bravo. That's true. You guys, let me just say, and I, you don't want to say like, oh, Billy Lee using the trans card, but 
Billy Lee is, it's a scary place to be when, if you don't agree with Billy, then you're a cis female or cis male, or I, I don't even, honestly, I got to educate myself. I don't even know what that means. But like, if you don't agree with Billy, then you're, you're automatically against her. You're transphobic. You're all of these things. It's incredibly damaging to claim all of these things, you know? And like, even, and Billy does, in my opinion, in my opinion, I'm not saying this is a fact. Billy lied about me. Billy said I was this server at TomTom Tom that just like doesn't know when to go away and just like waits around and tries to observe. No, Billy was the thirsty bitch who was in the back corner who was sitting there drinking her beer and like trying to get somebody to notice her. That way she could act like she was so bothered that somebody noticed her. And then she went against Lisa and Bravo and everybody. And because people didn't like her, not because Billy was or is a trans woman, nobody dislikes her because of that if anything people celebrate the fact that she is she is doing what's in her heart and being the person that she has always you know been meant to be that's celebrated but when you're mean to people and nasty to people and they come back to you and they tell you that you're being rude or nasty you can't just say oh well you only think that because you're transphobic that's not okay it's just a bullshit way of you know, like getting yourself out of something that it's not, it's not okay to me. I don't think that's okay. I can't go to people and say, you know what, you disagree with me and you don't like me right now. And that's because you're homophobic and it's because I'm gay. No, you might not like me right now because you think I'm a total asshole. That is okay. I'm never going to play the card and be like, oh my God, you're homophobic. Unless I just absolutely know you to be like, if you're sending me some raging text telling me like, go myself because of this, then that would be different, but I wouldn't just throw that around. And I think that's careless, especially when you have a platform. And I think it's really damaging. And I think that it can easily be weaponized if it's put in the wrong hands. And that's how I feel. And I feel like we have seen that, but that is my opinion. Now, on top of that, I mean, ay, ay, ay. let's get back to it. As Sandoval grew closer to Billy on the heels of Scandoval, she propositioned him about being a sperm donor for her potential child, and at the time, he told her he would consider the idea. In the months that followed, Sandoval began dating. Victoria learned that Billy had been telling people that they were having a child together. It freaked me the fuck out because I know how reactive Billy can get, and this is somebody who has been close to me during this time who can sell stories and get blah, 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 blah. So I'm scared of what she might fucking say. That's fair. After then telling Billy that she wasn't ready for a child due to her financial position, I guess they meant he, Sandoval and Victoria began to notice that Billy was creating drama between the two of them. It became very invasive. And where the falling out came from, I'm hearing all of these things being said about me to my friends. And she reached out to my friends and said, you haven't seen Tom lately because he's drinking every day. It's like fucking ridiculous. I don't do drugs recreationally. I don't do that shit. Music festivals. Yeah. Mushroom trip every once in a while, but I don't do that shit. And I sure as fuck ain't dating somebody who's doing that either because we wouldn't even vibe then. And we found out that there were a lot of lies and we found out where they were all coming from and that they were all coming from Billy Lee. You guys know that Billy Lee is definitely going to react to this, and it's just a matter of time, and I can't wait, because then everybody's going to be against Billy Lee, obviously. That's how that's going to go. That's how it's been going for the last however many years. So um, pop off in the comment section. If you guys are not subscribed, get subscribed. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, and we'll see you next time.